the nature of content's changed and the, the way in which we distribute that content across platforms has changed. That's a story everywhere, I guess. In terms of how that's changed, uh, we are much more um, visual than we used to be. That's a, that's a big change. So particularly for younger audiences, uh, video is a key part of making our radio mission come alive for a younger audience. Whether that's kind of longer form content that we can make available on more televisual kind of platforms, or whether that's short form content that's great for mobile services. Uh, in terms of audio content, we have uh, grown a whole range of new content to suit digital platforms. So that we, we extend out from the analog broadcast, say with a station like Radio 1, we've created a sister station for digital only, Radio 1 Extra. For a station, we have a, a station for news and sport, rolling news and sports, called Radio 5 Live. We have built a 5 Live Sports Extra that just does radio commentary. So that will go in for, say, around big sports events. You can get unbroken commentary around those events, or say for the Olympics. So we have developed content that way. We've also adapted our content, say, for a podcasting environment, so that we have less of the, maybe, the experts. Here's just a slice of it. Maybe less of the expert, more of the enthusiastic amateur who's going to help you understand a subject and go on that journey with you um, but it isn't necessarily the expert giving you all the answers. There's quite a shift going on um, in terms of the way, the kind of content we might make, the format, the tone, the kind of presenting, um, and alongside the, uh, the complexity that comes with delivering across a wide range of platforms, but trying to keep it still as a very simple, brilliant experience for the listener. We have a mixture of um, specialists. So we have people who specialize in uh, making great video, where there's a concentration of that skill needed. But in some other ways, for if, if we're trying to create short bursts of video that will work with social media, for example, you, know, you, want, a, you want a short GIF, you want a short video, we are, we are training up our, um, our production teams to be able to do that to a certain standard. We also employ specialists, a, a small number of specialists in social media. All these are quite small numbers of people, but that specialism really makes a difference to the quality right now. There may come a time in the future where the ability to do that becomes a very generalized skill, but we don't, we're not seeing that yet. There's a, there's a real mixture of general skills evolving and new specialist skills required. If you look uh, in car, uh, there isn't much competition for radio, but still in the UK, 70% of people say radio is the one thing they don't want to be without when they buy a new car. It's the top thing, more than a CD or you know, a, a music streaming. Only 1% say music streaming is essential right now. In home, that picture is very different. In home, we've seen quite big declines in not the reach. People still come to radio, but they're listening to less. And I think that's because of the range of competition. That's, uh, it correlates with age. So the younger you are, the, more, the less radio you're listening to at home and the more other stuff you're doing. And we know there's a huge rise, rise in, the, in the rise of use of social media and internet, et cetera. So we are seeing growth in social, growth in uh, access to our content via YouTube, Facebook, Facebook Live. All of that, we're seeing big growth from a small base, but big growth. Um, and the decline really has come, I suppose, where, where the competition is fiercest. I know that sounds very obvious, but you know, take the kitchen, more people have a television screen in their kitchen now, rather than just listening to the radio. I mean, not everybody, but more do. And therefore there's just more choice. It's great, actually. It just means that radio has to produce the right content for you and give it to you in really easy, simple ways across all the devices you want to use. Um, it's just, it's very good for the, for the listener, for the consumer ultimately. You know, the number of teenagers who say in the UK that they're planning to buy a traditional radio device over the next 12 months is 0%. So 
if they're not going to buy a traditional radio, they're going to be listening via a smartphone uh, or a, a, an iPod or another way. And that is a huge challenge. That is a you know, good reason to stay up at night thinking about that.